morning, everybody. We are up in the mountains of Maine in a little town called Newry. See, look at the mountain range. This is ski country here in Maine. You know, right next to a mountain called Sunday River, where it's a pretty popular mountain for skiing for the East Coast. We're setting up a pool deck, as you can see. Just a rectangular pool, basic rectangular deck. We're using our poly metaforms, our rigid ones today for most of this, whatever we can get out of them. And we'll be pouring the concrete tomorrow. So today you're going to get to see some of the setup, just how we do this. This pool already has a coping on it. A lot of pools we have to use our coping forms, but not today. So it's basically just doing the perimeter setup, getting the wire mesh down. We, we usually like to slope the concrete a little bit away from the pool. So we want to try to make sure these forms are, you know, half inch, three quarters of an inch lower than the pool coping. And that's what you're going to get to see us do today. So we're going to get at it. Nice weather up here today. It rained all weekend. This is a Monday. It rained a ton of rain this weekend. So it's it's actually in pretty nice shape for all the rain we got. All right, these poly metaforms, as you can see, they got these two prongs on one side, and then they have just an opening on the other side right there, and they just slide together. And the way we hold them together with the seams are or with these these clamps right here, these sliding sliding clamps, they just slide right in the back. They hold all the forms together, and then we have the twist ones that'll twist in, in the middle wherever we need them to go. And then for these areas that we need to fill in, we'll just fill in these. We could we could put another longer one on and just run it by, I guess, if we wanted to, or we'll just fill it in with a 2x4, that way we don't have to cut any of them. That's the basic process. We'll get them all laid out. And again, this is our top of pool grade right here is this coping. So we want to slightly slope this away a little bit after we get them set up. And that's what we're shooting for. quarter high or so but yeah. even with the pool right now then okay we'll just have to scrape it down a whisker all right so what we're doing is we're measuring six feet off the coping putting a stake six feet off the coping put a stake six feet off the coping put a stake get this straight then we can string this and get the whole thing straight we we'll basically do that all the way around the pool to get the sides straight and then for these for these we're going to run a string right along the coping and make these sides straight with a coping. So I'll have to put a pin in for that. Grab another hammer. Alright, I'll take that. Get this thing run. You can pull that stake if you want, I think. And we'll go right to that bat. We'll, well, it did. He was eyeballing this. He just eyeballed it though. And we'll go right to that back corner a little bit further. Okay. Yeah. What do you think, Michael? Yep, pretty good. Right there. Yep. All right. So that means this one. So we're going. The string is the inside. I think so. Yeah, because it's going to match. Okay. That actually looks like that could be tapped just a hair this way, right? The string. Yeah. yeah. Got the right there. Right 
That looks like 70 inches. Set it to grade. Yep. Hey, we had to cut all our boards and everything. I think there's gonna be a lot of digging. You get a shovel, Mike? <laughs> no. no. How much is it, Mike? Too much to drop here. This is gonna have to be higher. I think we're good this morning. He should be just about ready for you. I'll ask him and then if he says yes, I'll. All right, good morning everybody. Got a pool deck today, way up in the mountains. Way up in the mountains of Maine. Actually, we're on Sunday River, ski mountain in Maine. Big popular ski mountain. Google it, it's pretty cool. Oh man. You want him to drive down or you want him to wait a minute? Uh, yeah, just give me a minute. I'll, I'll call him. Right okay, now. yeah. Alright, so about a 1,200 square foot pool deck we're doing, 6 feet here, 6 there, 12 there, 10 there, plus the pool house, room finish pool deck. Should be a nice one, nice day today. Dangle pumping it, so we'll get the concrete right where we need it. These are the ones we like right here. Room finish. I'm assuming uh, we're probably going to start way back here, so we'll see if we can get this thing set up so you guys get a couple different couple different views of this you gonna stay okay yes. you want me to get some oh we got to still we got to ask him about that ask you. Said, yeah, put it in. okay you want me to get some rebar then for them holes you think if you yeah if you want it should be pretty flopping around there so. yeah I'll, I will I'll yeah. tap some in there just a spin low so you might have to we can adjust it here. we'll adjust it yeah I'd rather have it a tad tad high than low actually then I'm just going to tape over that top a little bit. Yeah. Alright, I'll go get a couple pieces. Yeah. You're gonna start, Michael. 
Yeah, right up here. I think we'll start right at that six foot mark. Just come right around. If he gets down past the if he gets down past the straight edge, we'll stop and then come back here and empty him. When he dumps, can one of you just come along a little bit around here? We'll just make sure that's in place. I'm gonna start right over where Luke is, Chris. This back yeah, we're gonna go right around down to where the ladder is, where that straight edge is, and if he's not empty, then we'll come back and empty him down that sure. side. So make sure he's around six and a half, seven to start here yep. today. With that's all. He looked okay coming down there. Yeah. 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 We haven't used these guys all year. It's been years since I used them. Yep. I think I still have your wire puller, dude. Yes, yes, no. You can go that way. Get him empty and get him out of here. How you doing, Eric? Okay? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Same thing, want to get down past the stairs and then, okay.
How did Eric do, okay? Yeah, boom. Yeah, he did as good as mine. Great job, boom. Mike, I didn't know you were here. As soon as Darren's ready, we'll take this strip right here. Yeah, I want to be able to get a pad there, a pad there. Take that six foot strip so I can, we can get this pad and get this piece done. We had to put a valley in here because I got the grade over here a little high. Okay. We wanted to pitch it all away, but we couldn't. Do I go back to the top of this board? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I want to come down around with a little one both ways to the middle and then I'll just come out the middle with a little one just to make sure this all does this. Pretty good there. Oh, never mind, you keep going. You just go right out that way if you want. Then we need that one again over here, I think. This one's a little too long, I think. All right, get that bolt loaded. Making sure all our slopes are good. That's why we put those little grade pins in there. We wanted to make sure we was at a certain grade right there. So the pool things kind of do this. That's a pool house there. We tried to keep that flat because they're going to build a pool house on it. So just a good way of keeping uh, making sure your grades are good. I mean, we also have the laser too, but it gives us something to go by when we're pouring. Thank you. Can just buzz that real quick? It's going to be okay? Yeah, we'll make it work. Because we're close if you need a little. We'll tailgate it. Can you just put your head over? You got a yard, you think? Nope. No. No. You want to get a couple of shots out. You want to ask him if he's got a yard he could bring? Yeah. Okay. Is that what you're going to need? Even after you dump it out, Chris? Uh, I did a couple more shots through, and then when I suck the ball back, I don't think I'll have a yard, though. Maybe half? Yeah. You could just ask him. If he's got one, that'd be great. 
Okay. Yeah, I ordered a yacht extra too. I don't know. Yeah, it's 55 photo on this. Yeah. Wow, he's asking. Okay. You want to try and uh, I'll yeah. give you what I can. Yeah. Suck the ball back. I'll get down in here and try and dump in the, sure. uh, the form. Sure. Or even if you don't, we can shovel it in. Yeah. yeah. Trying to get a hold of Oh, okay. It should be on the phone. Yeah. We're pretty close, four or five miles. Yeah. Well, we can get you washed up and get you back anyway. Yep. I'll just get out of the way when you're done. I'm all done. Yep. So another yard of genius and that's what I quoted? Sorry, okay. Fine right here on the mirror. As long as the wheel don't get it, yeah. Yeah, I mean he's gonna he's gonna back out, yep. turn around, dump that, so we're gonna be really close. Okay. But I'll know by the time you get done washing. Okay. Hey, we did run a little bit short, even with a yacht extra here. It, you think you got something you could send a yacht over? Oh, that'd be perfect. I appreciate it. It might be close, you know, with what's in, left in the pump truck, but I don't know if he's quite finished. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, he's got one right there he's sending. He's got one right there he's going to send over. He's only about four miles away, he said. Something was thicker than we thought, huh? First truck. That side over there, maybe? Yeah. I mean, it definitely wasn't the 12 foot part. We didn't rake that much out of there. Well, we knew that side was thicker. Yeah. Because we had to raise the board up all the way down that side. But we thought this side was going to make up for it. Right. Alright, so it looks like we probably got an hour before we got to worry about finishing, so we'll check back with you guys when we get ready to finish. Hey guys, thanks for watching part one. Part two will be coming up. That'll be the finishing process. So we're going to mag this all out, get it broomed, and we'll show you just what we had to do to finish this. It was quite a project. It went really fast on the finishing. So if you're not subscribed, please hit subscribe. If you are subscribed, then just it'll pop up at the end of the video. You can click on it right there.